Over the coming weeks and months, a lot of you guys are going to start to see this new browse channels feature pop up at the top left of your Discord server. This feature, when first looking at it, it really doesn't look like it does all that much, but when you actually set it up, it's going to change the way that people use your Discord server forever. Once you set it up, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to give you a nice little pop up and you're going to get full fledged reaction roles built into your Discord server without needing a bot at all. So without further ado, let's dive into how to set this up. But before we do, a quick word from the channel sponsor, WAP. WAP is a platform that allows internet entrepreneurs the ability to monetize their Discord communities. With WAP, you're able to set up your own storefront where you can sell multiple different levels of access to any of your Discord servers. Your store will then be listed on their community marketplace where you can grow your server organically and users can leave reviews on their experience with you. Check out WAP today via the link at the top of the description. And if you want to learn more, feel free to check out my full length video going over everything with WAP that I'll also have down below for you. Thank you again to WAP. And now let's get back to the video. So we're actually going to be setting this up in my own personal server today. I'm going to go ahead and disable uh, streamer mode because I need to set this up. I haven't yet. I keep putting it off. So I figured what better way to set it up than actually do it for the video. So to preface this, this is a beta feature, but it is rolling out rather quickly. I even got it in my test server, which literally has no members in it. It's just a bunch of bots and my friend, we just test out bots in there. That's all that's in that server. So this feature is becoming increasingly available. So make sure you're checking every single, every single week to see if you have this feature unlocked yet. When you click on browse channels, there's not really much that you're actually gonna be doing here on this browse channels page right now at least. What we're going to do is we're gonna come up to our server settings at the top left and we're gonna to go to onboarding down here under the community section. And also if you haven't enabled your server as a community server, make sure you do so. Otherwise you definitely aren't gonna get access to this onboarding feature. But here it's gonna give you a brief overview of what this feature does. You can choose what channels members start out with. You can help them pick additional channels and roles. So AKA they can literally get reaction roles and it's simple and reliable. So all we're going to do is at the top, we're going to click check it out. It's going to give you a three step walkthrough. First step is going to be what channels are used most by your members. This is where you're going to check mark all of the channels that you want people to be able to see right when they join. So you can see over here on the right, this is what it's actually going to look like when a user joins your server based on what you set up. So if I click boost, it's going to add boost in there. It's basically going to showcase all you want to showcase all of your most popular and active channels and the most important ones so the user doesn't get overwhelmed with a ton of channels right when they join and obviously if you want to you can go through and checkbox every single one it is going to tell you that it thinks it's a little too many for a user to see when they first join but you can obviously set it up however you want so i'm actually probably going to be the case where i select a little bit more than uh it's going to want me to just because i want people to see most of these channels um, I'm going to have all of these checked up here. I'm going to do general discord help memes, birthdays, self promo. Cause people are going to want to do that. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, we'll do the video shorts. We'll also do music doesn't exist anymore. Really? So we'll do vibe zone and report spam. And I think that's all we need to give them access to right away. Okay. So I actually went through and edited a little bit. I took out all of these because I'm going to set these up as reaction roles since I have them already as reaction roles in my server. Um, so this is what we're going to run with. This is what it's going to look like right here when a user joins. Uh, so we're going to click next. And now we're going to be able to ask questions. And this is where they're going to be able to answer these questions to get access to certain channels or certain roles. So ask questions to help members pick additional channels and roles. Cool. So the first question we're going to ask is what type of notification pings would you like to receive? These are for things like my giveaway pings, um, event pings, live stream pings and video pings. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an answer. We're going to do, for example, live streams and we're going to select the channel that they're going to get access to which is the live streams channel and also they're going to get the live stream ping roll which is all the way down here at the bottom we're also going to give it an emoji let's do the red circle to notify that it's a live stream i think that's a good one we did add in a little description here basically just letting people know if they get the if they select this they're going to get notified of all of my live streams going forward so we'll click save and we will also add in another one for videos uh so we're basically going to do this for all of the ones i just mentioned live streams videos uh event pings and um giveaway pings 
Uh, I'm gonna go and set those up now and then I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So I do wanna show you guys really quick too. Um, you can select multiple channels and multiple roles for this. So for example, YouTube videos, I'm giving them access to multiple channels because I have a gaming channel also that I upload to. So I'm roping that all under this one role, the, U the YouTube notification role. Um, so I gave them access to all three channels. So you can select as many as you want to. Okay, so I think I got this set up the way that I want to. to show you guys what this is going to look like. Basically, users are first going to be asked what type of notification pings would you like to receive? And they're gonna be able to select any of these options. And if they do, they're going to get access to the channel that is involved with that and also the role that's involved with sending out the notification ping. So this is basically, like I mentioned earlier, a form of reaction roles, but instead of using a bot, you get to do it directly in your server. And then underneath that, I added what off topic channels do you want? Music, server games. I don't really have too, too many going on here. So I just threw those down there at the bottom. So I think I've got this set up the way I want to. So to give you guys a brief overview again of what this is going to do, when a user first joins, they're gonna be prompted with a pop-up saying what type of notification pings would you like to receive? And they're gonna be able to select any of these, which is going to give them access to the channel that that notification goes in, as well as the role that's going to give them the notification ping. So again, just to show you guys, you can click on it, YouTube videos, they're gonna get access to these channels and they're gonna get this role when they click that. Underneath that, I did what off topic channels do you want? I don't have a whole lot, so I just did music and server games, and then they get access to those. And after you do that, you can click next and you should be able to review it. It's gonna say you're ready to enable. You have 17 default channels, 20 of 22 channels are assignable through onboarding. So cool, let's go ahead and enable the onboarding and we are good to go. So we should be able to preview this now. If we preview it, let's see what it looks like. Uh, cool. So it's going to give you your server background as like a splash image in the background, which I really need to change that. Um, and then they're going to be able to do this. So this is what it's going to look like for a user. They're going to select live stream ping. Uh, they're going to select giveaways, YouTube videos, and you'll see down here at the bottom, it tells you everything that you're going to get access to when you select all of these. You click next. You can also select what off topic channels would you like music server games finish. And once you do that, they're going to get access to all of those extra channels that they got. And if they ever want to change any of that in the future, that's the cool part of this. Um, they can go into channel and roles and right here, all of the ones that you set up, they can come in and change right here if they want to. So if they actually want to get access to the events, they come in here, check that they want access, you receive the event ping roll just like that. It's literally reaction roles, but built straight into Discord. So that's how to set up the new channels and roles feature within Discord, a really, really powerful tool that once you get access to it, you definitely need to be using. I think now the only other big feature I'm waiting on to be able to get access to so I can make a video on it is the server home feature, which is also a really cool feature. I don't think it's as powerful as this one, but it's definitely really cool to have. So hopefully I get that soon. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please consider dropping a like to help spread it to others. And if you want to check out any more of my Discord content, be sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.